There is hardly a Power BI data model that would not require a calendar table. Whereas there are several approaches to creating a calendar table in Power BI, in this video I'll be showing how to use Power Query to create that calendar table. This is going to be in a very simple, clear, logical and methodical approach. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. The calendar table typically will have a list of dates which should be at least cover the minimum date you have within your data and the maximum date you have within your data. So you have a list of consecutive dates between the first date in your data and the last date in your data. Which means anytime you need to write any DAX formula that requires a date column, we would always supply the date column coming from the calendar table. And whenever we also need to create reports that requires date fields like months, years, and quarters, we are going to have to pick those months, years, and quarters for our reports. We'll pick them from the calendar table. So to do that with Power Query, basically, what I will need to do is I need to create a separate query. So I have this in Power Query already, and this is my data. So now I need to create a separate query that's just going to have my list of dates. So to do that, I'm going to have to be on the Home tab. Then I'll click on New Source, and I'll select Blank Query. So the first thing I want to do for my Blank Query is the source so what's going to be my source my source has to be a date column from my data which is this table so my source is going to be i need this other date column from this table so i'm going to come to my blank query here and i will say equals to the orders table then i use the square bracket and i'll type order dates so when I hit enter, I have a list of all the dates from my data table. Then I'm going to come to my apply steps area here. I will right click on this first step source and I will say insert step after. So this next step is going to be to derive what the minimum date is. What is the smallest date from this list? So this is going to be equals to I will use this m function list dot mean so give me the minimum date from that source so give me the minimum day from the source and this is what i have 3rd of january 2014 then i will come here and rename this custom so right click and rename i don't want to call custom i want to call mean date so this is the smallest date then I'll right click on this mean date. I want another step, insert step after. So this time around, what I want is I want list.max, which is going to give me the maximum date from the source step. So give me the maximum date from that list, which is 30th of December 2017. So I have the minimum date, I have the maximum date. So I need to rename this. So rename as max date now i have a minimum date i have a maximum date when i eventually create this my list of dates for my calendar what i'll need is i need a starting date which is going to be this minimum date then i will need how many days do i want within this calendar so the number of days i want within the calendar is going to be the difference between this minimum date and the maximum date then I'm also going to require one more argument, which is going to be how many step duration would I have in this my calendar table, which means so if I have today as the first date, when is the next day going to be? Is it going to be tomorrow or is it going to be two days after? So it's definitely going to be tomorrow. So that's going to be like my step. So when I create the first day as the minimum date, I want one day between each date. So three things I will need. I will need my minimum date. I will need the step and then I will need the number of days. So now I have my minimum date. I have my maximum date. The next thing I need is the number of days. So I'll right click again and I'll insert another step after. So this step now is going to be 
the max date minus the mean date. So max date minus mean date. So when I hit enter, you are going to see that this comes up as a duration, but I want numbers. So this is 1457 days, zero hours, zero minutes and zero seconds. So I don't want this to come up as a duration. So you can see here, it's showing me as duration tools, meaning that this is a duration. So I want it in day. So I'm going to click on this duration here and I'll convert these to days. So I have my step extracted days 1457. I'm just going to come inside this place and add a one plus one. So if the first date is 1st of January and the last date is that 1st of December, if you do that 1st of December minus 1st of January, you either end up with a 364 or you end up with a 365. For a 366 year, you have 365. So you need to add a plus one. So extracted days, I will rename this. I want, I'll just call this days. So now I have my minimum date. I have a maximum date. I have my days now i need this step so how many days within each date it's going to be one day so i'll right click and insert another step after and i will just clean everything here and i will just say this step is going to be one day dot zero hours then i put my column zero minutes i put my column and zero seconds when I hit enter, then I have a duration. Now I really need this to be a duration. So I'm going to right click again. I'm going to rename this and I'll call this duration. So now I have all I need to construct my list of dates. So I'll right click and insert a step after. So this step is going to be, I need a function and M function that's going to generate a list of dates for me. So the M function is equals to list dot dates, list dot dates open bracket. So the first argument is my start date and my start date is mean dates, comma. The next argument is count. So how many days do I want? I want these days here, which is a result of my maximum dates minus my minimum dates plus one. So my count is going to be days, comma, and the last argument is step as duration. So how many days within the minimum dates and the next date? So the step between one date to the next date is going to be how many in steps? So it's going to be equal to this my duration here so it's going to be equals to duration and when i hit enter i have a list of dates each day from 3rd of january 2014 up until that 1st of december 2017 so this is currently a list item so i just need to click on this singular button here to convert it into a table i'll just click ok so now I have a table. I'll just click on this ABC123 here for data type and call this a date. And I'll also rename this by double clicking on the header. I call this date. So now I have a list of dates, consecutive dates, from the smallest day within my data to the maximum dates within my data. Now, if I need to add extra column for months, for years, for quarters and the likes, all I need to do is click on the add column tab here. Then I'll use this date button to say I want the year. Then I'll come back and click on this date again. Click on this. I'll say I want the month. Maybe I want the name of the month instead. So I'll just select name of month. Then I'll come back here to these dates, click on the date icon. I want the quarter, quarter of year. I'll come back here, click on the date icon. I want the week, 
maybe I want uh, the week of the month, week one, week two, week three, week four. And then I have a calendar table, which I can now load back to my data and connect to my facts table. But then I'm going to have to rename this from query one and I'll just call it calendar.